Hey y'all, quick video update. It's been a while since uh, I posted anything. So inside we have this sweet ceiling going on. You can see gaps on each side for cabinets. There's going to be upper cabinets starting about halfway down the van and back. On the rear windows you can see my awesome job of tenting held up by, yes, blue painter's tape. I tried several times to tent these on my own with a tent that I got on eBay that said it was ceramic by Intersolar and it was so crappy, um, really just wrinkled up and was shitty. I tried heat shrinking it, that didn't work with the heat gun and everything. Uh, my dad had this great idea for a temporary uh, door pull because when the doors are open it's really hard to pull them back closed from the inside so temporarily. I have that. I have the hardwood flooring and uh, some subfloor insulation underneath this wood. I have the Dynamat Extreme and also this green subfloor squishy stuff. It's really flexible. It's made for um, weather sealing. So I guess it's, um, what do they call that? A moisture barrier or vapor barrier, but I'm clearly not doing the vapor barrier thing because I'm leaving the rest of this open. I have layers of it under each wheel well. I still have my temporary walls up so we can sort of attach things. As we go, I have the trim for the ceiling fan in, and I'm going to put this backer back on, but I didn't want edge trim, so I painted the top half of this black so it will disappear nicely once I put the um, rear molding back up here. Uh, I guess I can give you another view of the ceiling from back here. Really like it. Um, it's really echoey again now that I have the ceiling. Did this little brace across the front to hold it in place. And I also put in a rear view camera switch so it does the rear cam and the front cam depending on which way I rock the switch. It is connected to my um, new rear view mirror thingamajig. I guess it's not going to be very easy to see. If I turn on one of the cameras, you'll see a little bit. Anyway, I'll give more details on this stuff, but I just wanted to give you a short update about what's going on. My little breaker box. Temporary connections because we've had issues with the batteries. Speaking of batteries, um, I'll jump out here. Underneath the van, we have a battery tray, which you can see way under there. It's right here. There's a battery tray with two batteries. And uh, pop inside for a second to show you what's going on with the screen door. Or the sliding door. I am working on a whiteboard that will fit the interior sliding door. And that's almost done, but that's in progress. Probably going to work on the upper cabinets tomorrow, so I just wanted to kind of document the state of things before we before we do that. So we have some ribs, and I got some new um, threaded insert riveting tool stuff that I can use to to use some of these holes that are in the wall so I don't have to drill new holes. So I'll try to give more detail in the future but for now I just wanted to uh, uh, pop back up into the world of YouTubes, show you how things are going and uh, it's starting to get cold here in Ohio. That's kind of uh, freaking me out. It I wanted to be done by mid-October but I'm definitely not going to be Probably going to be pushing November. So anyway, stay tuned. Talk to you soon. To learn more about Flight Plan, check out the Facebook link in the description below. To see upcoming build videos and project updates, click subscribe. I'll try to get back to your comments as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.